Okay, Angela. Eh, well, I think I'm going to post this. So, who, uh, Angela, and for whomever. Um, <clears throat> this particular problem reads. Let me go find it. Uh, and this is why it takes too long for me to do this kind of stuff because I'm not prepared. <laughs> Just jump in. Okay, so the problem is uh, from chapter six. Uh, it's problem six point one point nine nine in uh, My Life Plus, but it doesn't matter. It's a generic problem. Just trying to give you some bearings if you wanted to go search for it. Okay, the problem reads, the diameter of each wheel of a bicycle is 28 inches. If you are traveling at a speed of 40 miles per hour on this bicycle, through how many revolutions per minute are the wheels turning? So, to keep in mind, we have 40 miles, and I'm going to write it this way. Why do I have an E at the end of that? I don't know. Um, miles per one hour. And what we want to do is convert that to um, some value or some number of revolutions per one minute, right? Is that what I said? Yeah, revolutions per minute. So <clears throat> as much as this, you have to understand what's going on and the, uh, the quote trick or the conceptual thing is that we have this bicycle wheel that has a distance that is represented by the what we call the circumference of the circle, which would be the outer edge of the of the wheel or the you know the uh, tread part of the tire. And that wheel is uh, there's two of them. It doesn't matter the same size, so it doesn't affect anything. It's rotating in this direction. So the wheel, at some point, let's let's put a dot of blue paint on the wheel. Okay, but once I roll it out some distance, let's change this back to some distance, like if I roll the wheel down, <clears throat> this part rolls across here and then my blue dot will appear right there if it's wet paint. And then again, as the wheel rotates, it'll appear again there. And as it rotates, it'll appear again there. And uh, this is broken, of course. So this distance is equal to the circumference of the circle. That's the conceptual idea which allows us to take a speed of 40 miles per hour the travel in this in this direction and turn it into units of this uh, units of revolutions per, mi per minute so because of that it turns into essentially a uh, um, I call it a conversion problem and uh, Dr. Rondonon referred to it as a is dimensional analysis which I believe in textbooks and whatnot and smarty pants way um, that's probably correct. Not probably correct. It is correct. I remember hearing it, but I just don't think of it that way and have, because I'm old and I haven't thought about it in that way in a long time. So let's first um, talk about this value I'm going to stick in here. It's going to have hours up top. Yay, the AC shut off. Um, hours up top and minutes in the bottom in the denominator. And I'm going to have one hour, and in one hour there are 60 minutes. And what that effectively does, because hours divided by hours is one and it's as much as I as much as I hate it you guys prefer cancel but this divided by this equals one and in fact this value here one hour divided by 60 minutes because they're equivalent this is also the number one okay so uh, I'm multiplying this blue number times this red number that red number is the number one so what happens is I get 40 miles per 60 minutes and that is the same value as this just with different units so taking that idea we're going to now convert miles to revolutions so first let's do this 40 miles and we have 60 minutes now times let's change miles into feet now I want miles to divide with miles so miles is going to be down here, feet are going to be up here, and how many feet are in one mile? 5, 2, 8, 0. Oh. And then I'm going to take 50 to 80 feet, notice feet divide with feet to get 1, and this is going to be inches, and how many feet are, excuse me, how many inches are in 1 foot? 12 inches are in 1 foot. So notice my uh, units in the numerator are now inches, and my units in the denominator are still, or is still, minutes. 
And so my number now, without doing the multiplication, is 4, 0, times 5, 2, 8, 0, times 12, divided by 60, and my units are inches per minute. So that's pretty close. It's not quite revolutions per minute, right? It's not quite revolutions per minute, but it's something per minute. Now, they've given this this idea of the bicycle having uh, wheels with a diameter of 28 inches, okay? Uh, how do I figure out the length around? And so as a reminder, remember circumference equals 2 pi r. So if I want to know this distance, the circumference, I'm going to take 2 times the number pi and multiply it times the radius. A little trick here, this is not the radius, that's the diameter, so there's 14. You could also possibly recall that uh, 2 pi r is the same as um, pi d. Uh, and so I could have just taken 28 and multiplied times pi, and you'll see that I'll be, I'll be doing the same thing using 2 pi r. So 2 times 14 is 28, and I get 28 pi as a circumference. So essentially, what we, if we put the, pull the information together, we have the circumference of 28 inches. I don't know why I'm writing it again. Excuse me, 28 pi inches. And that is equal to how many revolutions? One. And so let's divide both sides, 28 pi inches, divided by one revolution. If I divide this by one revolution, I'm going to end up with one over here, because one revolution divided by one revolution is the number one. So again, this is the number one, much like this was the number one. And so uh, I can multiply this value, the red one, times the number one in the form of one revolution per 28 pi inches. And notice the inches equal one. And I'm going to have units of revolutions per minute, which is what the problem asked for. So now I have to simply do this math. 40 times 5280 times 12 times divided by 60 times 1 divided by 28 pi. Now, I'm lazy, so I'm going to try to simplify fractions before I get there. So what's uh, I can divide 40 by 10. That leaves 4. Divide this by 10. That leaves 6. Divide this by 6. That leaves 1. Divide this by 6, and that leaves 2. Divide this by 4. That leaves 1. Divide this by 4. That's 7. And so now I have 2 times 5280 divided by 7 pi. And so that makes my arithmetic, I believe, quite a bit easier. And so I'm going to have 2 times 5280. So that's, uh, what, 601510 divided by 7 pi revolutions per minute. And I don't have a calculator, so let's slam it into Google. Uh, one zero five six zero. Okay, I don't trust it. Let's do five two eight zero five two eight zero times two. When I say trust it, I am it. Okay, ten five sixty. Yep. Let's divide that by seven and divide that by pi, which should be approximately dividing by three. So I'm going to get like five hundred. So it's going to be five hundred and two point eight five. Let's go investigate the problem again, or scrutinize the question. It says round to the nearest, round it to one decimal place as needed. That's pretty stupid. As needed? What do you mean as needed? Anyway, round it to one decimal point. So uh, five two eight five five hundred two point eight five seven blah 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 turns into five hundred and two point nine revolutions per minute, and that's your answer. Okay. Hope that helps. Bye.